Why do we feel nostalgia? Nostalgia is the heart's way of reminding you of something you once loved. It travels in many forms, on a song, in a scent, or in photographs. But no matter how it comes to you, it'll always have the same bittersweet taste. Renata Suzuki. Nostalgia is a powerful emotion that can arise by events that remind you of past experiences in your life. But why do we feel this way? It's often triggered by sensory stimuli. Music, smells, sights. Last week, I tried a piece of flan and as soon as it hit my mouth, I was instantly teleported to the past. My grandmother used to make the best flan when I was little. It wasn't the same and I started tearing up knowing that I would never have it again. Sometimes nostalgia triggers are unexpected surprises and sometimes they're sought out to bring comfort and happy feelings. The term nostalgia comes from the Greek words nostos, which means return, and algos, which means pain. The literal meaning is the suffering evoked by the desire to return to one's place of origin. The term was coined by Swiss physician Johannes Hoffer, who thought it was a cerebral disease because symptoms included obsessive thinking of home, bouts of weeping, and anxiety. But in the 19th century, the definition of nostalgia changed. It became a form of depression. Then, in the 20th century, it was described as immigrant psychosis. Today, it's nothing more than a sentimental longing for the past. David Newman, PhD candidate at USC, explained that nostalgia is a mixed emotion. We found that people are more likely to think of the good old days when something goes wrong in the present. When people are asked to describe something that makes them feel nostalgic, they usually say positive things. They think of a pleasant memory that had a positive influence on their life. USC's Dormsife team conducted several studies that aimed to capture when people feel nostalgic. The 230 students had to complete daily questionnaires for 14 days, which included questions about whether they had positive or negative feelings when they experienced nostalgia. The results? People were more likely to feel nostalgia when things were going wrong in the present. On the days people felt nostalgic, they reported feeling more stressed, depressed, and lonely. They were less satisfied with their lives and ruminated more. But the psychologists found another surprising correlation. People were more likely to feel nostalgic on days they helped others, were reminded of old friendships or music, and engaged in social media use. In essence, nostalgia is a mixed emotion, but on a daily basis, it's predominantly negative. In recent years, there's been an emergence of nostalgia in our society. Take a look at this picture. It was taken in the 90s, right? Take a closer look. Pause the video and see if you can find what's wrong. Do you see the Arctic Monkeys poster? This is supposed to take place in the 90s, but the band was formed in 2002. What else is wrong? There's a Finding Nemo DVD on the shelf. Finding Nemo came out in 2003. I found this picture on Reddit. It's a misleading remake of what the 90s were like. It's clear that nostalgia is making a huge comeback in our society today. Kids and young adults are being influenced by older generations more than they ever have before. But the question is why? If we feel nostalgia when we're stressed, depressed, and lonely, well, recent years have been kind of tough. Tonight, anarchy reigns through America. High-end stores looted. It's one of our darkest days uh, when I saw it last, and, and it's repeating. In these uncertain times, wouldn't it make sense that we would want to time travel to happier, more familiar times? It's been more than 30 years since 1990, the decade where clothing was baggy, overalls were the height of fashion, and cheerful boy bands ruled the music industry. Really 
Now it's coming back. The struggles we face these past years have forced us to live in radically different ways from those of our youth. Some of these older brands and jingles are etched into our brains, evoking a strong emotional response. Oi, zoo pals. This is a powerful tactic used in marketing. Studies show that consumers are likely to spend more money as a result of nostalgia. It's the perfect combination. We crave more nostalgia and the media pushes out more nostalgia. Champion was a very popular brand in the 80s and 90s but fell off soon after. Influential figures like Kanye West and Virgil Abloh, rest in peace, made comfy sportswear a cool thing again. Fila came back too. With chunky dad shoes being a trend, the Fila disruptor took the scene by storm. Vintage is definitely cool right now. Nostalgia is trendy, but there's one thing that will never change even when this trend fades away. The holidays. Nick Jr. is celebrating with Holly Jolly Friday. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Climb aboard. The Polar Express. Nearing December, I look back and remember that as a kid, I would write down the toys I wanted on a piece of paper and somehow on Christmas day, they would appear under our Christmas tree. I remember all the Christmas shows I used to watch with my grandmother when she was still alive. Why do we feel nostalgia more strongly during the holidays? Research shows that nearly all nostalgic memories involve other people. And from marketing to religion, everything about the holidays is centered around relationships. People want to travel home to be with family, and if they can't, nostalgia is almost like a psychological substitute for the real thing. It reunites us across time and space. You get this warm, fuzzy feeling when you think of these memories, but it can also make you lonelier. That's, that's why nostalgia is, by its very nature, bittersweet. The happiest memories laced with melancholy. It's that combination, that opposition of forces, the happy past faced with the impossibility of going back to it that makes it so compelling. My friends, let's never forget the memories, but let's move on and build better ones. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and then hit the bell icon only if you want to. And if you watch these videos right here, I guarantee you'll learn at least one new thing that you can apply in your life today. Now go make the world a better place. Visual Venture.